Hey there, welcome to Play Noggin. I'm Julian, your brains player too. Today, we're going to talk about Portal. It's a science video game channel, we can't not talk about Portal. Portals are basically like two sides of the same door, but unlike normal doors, both sides don't have to be in the same place. This mechanic, combined with a physics engine, lets the player solve puzzles and navigate rooms that would be impossible in real life. Unless, of course, we could harness these mystical portals. But where would you even start? Well, how about with wormholes? Wormholes connect two points in space-time, just like our disconnected door. You could go in one end and pop out somewhere else entirely, like, say, the moon. All you'd need to do is bend space-time like a contortionist in a pretzel factory, and in a very specific way. See, normally, when space-time curves, it curves in on itself. To do this, you'd need a lot of mass or the energy equivalent of that mass to see any noticeable effects. You'd have to eat tons of cake, is what I'm saying. But theoretically, there could be a form of matter or energy that would bend space-time like the surface of a saddle, making wormholes possible. We call this negative energy or negative matter, not to be confused with antimatter. Negative energy sounds bonkers, but it explains some strange phenomena like the Casimir effect. The Casimir effect is what happens when two plates are placed nanometers apart in a vacuum. They become attracted to each other because the energy density between the plates is less than on the outside. But the energy density of a vacuum is zero, so the space between the plates must have had a negative energy density. I'll let Wheatley demonstrate a rough approximation of the Casimir effect. If we could harness enough negative energy, we could burrow through space-time. Imagine living on a flat sheet of paper and you could only travel along its surface. A wormhole is what happens if you could fold the paper in half and then poke a pencil through both layers. Sure, you could travel over the fold to get where you're going like normal, or you could just pop through the hole. And now you're thinking with portals. But there are a lot of issues Aperture Labs would have to solve. It's possible sending something through with positive mass and energy would destabilize it and cause it to collapse. Or the tunnel from one place to another could take a winding route and end up being much longer than the traditional approach. Then you need a companion for company. Once those kinks are ironed out though, you could travel to opposite ends of the galaxy faster than light ever could. Or if one portal moved at speeds close to the speed of light while the other end didn't move, time travel would be possible. Or if you really wanted to, you could use wormholes to stop a murderous AI that keeps calling you fat. Thanks for watching. If you want to see how moving at extreme speeds makes time travel possible, check out our video on Superhot here. Like what you see and want to learn more science behind your favorite video games? Click here to subscribe. We'll be back every week to analyze a new game, so if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. And don't forget to keep on playing.